What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, one major upgrade I wanted slash needed for my WWF Data East Royal Rumble is officially installed. The pin to DMD color DMD. Out with the old, in with the new. It's time to rumble. All right, guys, you're on Joe for now. Follow me on all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything all behind the scenes, a lot of stuff live in the heat of the moment. Because by the time an actual video goes out, it's been, I would say, a, a couple of weeks. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me on all the socials. Also, like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you think about my first upgrade to this 1994 Data East Royal Rumble? I, owning two Jersey Jack pinball machines, playing all of the newer stern jersey jack machines something about a color dmd that is really honestly it's needed yeah some of the retro heads the original ogs are not gonna like what i just said but let's be real it's, it's a thing of beauty look at it now if you haven't seen my first video about this specific royal rumble and my plans on what i want to do with it be sure to go back and watch that video Again, it is great that I obtained one of a handful of pinball machines that I actually want to own. But in all honesty, I do not plan to keep this machine. I kind of have the intention or the idea that once I fully play it slash beat it, go through all of its wizards modes, I've basically completed the game and would not have any desire. Again, though, pinball is great, especially if you have friends and family to hang out and come over. It's always great to have more machines, but the idea with this is to flip it. I will most likely, once I complete it and do all my upgrades and mods that I want to do to it, I will be putting it up on Facebook Marketplace. I will obviously have to put a price for it, but the plan is to do a trade for trade. Uh, again, it's just great, and I'm very happy to see that one major upgrade that I needed. I did need this upgrade no matter what. I am just so happy with the results of it. Now keep in mind, this machine was manufactured in 1994. This is before LEDs were a thing in the home. Someone's gonna flame me in the comments, but this is even a thing before colorized displays were even thought of. So it's just pretty cool to see what you could do now to these older pins. Now again, me, I own two Jersey Jack pinball machines downstairs and you know, they are newer, they are LED'd out, bright, and the biggest thing is the displays are now video displays, color, HD, and all. Me, at 33 years old, I'll be able to, I was able to play this machine with its orange DMD, but, you know, ever since I kind of took a glance at this exact table on my V-Pin with color DMD, it was a no-brainer. I had to put a color DMD on this. Now, in the pinball realm, there's really two options, from my understanding, there's two options for when it comes to a color DMD. I should say two companies. One is color DMD. A lot of options, meaning you could do the LCD route or the DMD route, it is pricey though, or you could go the route that I went, which is pin two DMD from Australia, Retro City is the company that gave me slash sold an entire plug and play kit. Yes, this was plug and play. Just had to do some wiring maneuvering and they did give me a converter kind of board for the power supply, which I'll show you later on. After about 30 minutes, I now have no more orange flickering DMD. I have beautiful colorized DMD. Now again, owning two real Jersey Jack pinball machines and obviously playing the newer Sterns and the Jersey Jacks, you know, with the whole LCD screens, animated displays as you play and such, uh, it's, it's different. It's a whole different system. It's a whole different world when it comes to those bigger LCD screens. 
coming back now to the like you know I don't want to say the word OGs but going now to like you know the older style Stearns, Data East, Sega, Gottlieb, Williams uh, you know there was no such thing as colorized back then. I do honestly love the DMD. Now in this day and age again I am 33 years old you're talking to me now hitting almost two years into this whole pinball uh, cyclone that I'm going down the, the rabbit hole. Um, you know, me, I, I like seeing the newer screens. I like seeing the videos and I like seeing all that. Um, but I still do enjoy DMD solid state games. I'm not a fan of EMs. Don't flame me in the comments, put down below. But something about keeping it simple, you know, keep it simple, stupid. Keeping it simple with a nice DMD, it still makes games a thing of beauty. Fish Tales, Tales of the Arabian Nights, World Cup Soccer, Royal Rumble, just to name a few. It just goes to show you that they are amazing games. And you don't even need a 16 by 9 LCD screen to achieve amazing gameplay. Now, like I said before, there are two companies, Color DMD and Pin2 DMD, that will basically let you choose a game. You pick your game and they will sell you a kit. I'm gonna just make a quick comment about Color DMD. My buddy Josh over at Pinball Long Island, the owner in Patchogue, I did get his opinion. What do you think about the Color DMD? Because several of his machines have Color DMDs. He did mention, he says, Vic man, if you're gonna go the realm of Color DMD, be sure that they are using slash get the LED version of Color DMDs. Avoid LCD Color DMD. Obviously, then I went online and I'm looking at price differences. Color DMD is expensive, but people do say that the quality is amazing. So I can't really complain about that. But paying 600 bucks for a Color DMD on my Data East Royal Rumble, that's quite a chunk of change for what I want to pay. Doing some more research, I did find Pin 2 DMD. I have known Pin 2 DMD. It's kind of, I've seen a lot of it in uh, Virtual Pinball. Uh, I don't know if they sell an exact DMD for V-Pin, but whenever you're looking up these colorized ROMs for your V-Pin, you do see Pin 2 DMD a lot. So luckily I did find this website from Australia, Retro City. They sold, slash they do sell, a complete plug and play kit. You could pick your game and they have quite a list of games to pick from. Mine, for example, again, is a Data East. They also included a specific power supply board converter. This thing was virtually plug and play. And the biggest thing, I only spent 220 bucks. Pin to DMD and is an actual LED display. It is not LCD. Now also know this is not sponsored. I paid fully and all that. This did come in a box from Australia. No joke, it took about a week to get to me. Very surprising, great wrapping and such. They even included some pinball goodies, which if you wanna count as pinball goodies, they did give me two bottle openers with two very cool keychains. Uh, this one says Pinball Fest Limited Edition 2024. And the other one almost looks like a circuit board style rectangle. Again, I wasn't expecting that, but it's just kind of cool to see that they gave me a couple of uh, bottle openers if my camera focuses. Look at that. Not bad, and they gave me two of them. So let me give you another look at the Pinball Festival. Making sure my camera, there you go, look at that. Pinball Fest, limited edition, and then in the rear, it tells you what they offer. And on the rear of that, you could see the other stuff that basically shows you what they offer. Pretty cool. You could always use a bottle opener, why not? Now again, if you go to their website, you pick your game, so you could actually check to make sure that your game has a colorized option. You know, they even give you a nice little thick business card, Retro City Pinball, Pin2 DMD. Now the biggest thing, while I waited impatiently, I'm going crazy like, Where's like the install instructions? Do we have install instructions? They don't have it on their website, but no need to worry as they will send you an almost 15 to 16 page instruction manual 
on how to upgrade your original DMD. Now again, this thing was plug and play. In the rear of the actual DMD panel is a micro SD card already pre-installed with the most recent ROM file slash colorized version of WWF Royal Rumble. So again, this was plug and play. Very great quality. Again, this is not sponsored. This whole LED panel, and again, if you go on their website, they have like their logos and branding all over the panel. It's very custom made. Um, they do have instructions on their website to like build it yourself, but for 220 bucks, free shipping. Keep that in mind, free shipping landed. Uh, it just, it just do this route. <laughs> and not to mention again, I do have a Data East machine. So they did also give me the Data East Sega power adapter. I don't know if it's gonna come out on that with that nice shiny label, but basically there was a power adapter that was needed. In all honesty, getting this adapter pushed into the actual power supply pins was probably the hardest part of this mod. Now real quick, I'm gonna open up the back box so you can just kind of see. I'm also gonna have to probably shoot B-roll because you won't really see it clearly. But right here, this is the actual converter board chip Data E Sega power supply converter. That is really the only thing. It's a pretty big hefty board. And then you do have now this extra black and red wire that goes to the DMD. Again, this right here, very, um, I would say, it's not sensitive, but you have to be careful when you're pushing this whole board into the stock power supply. Uh, it was it was rough, but that's not really their fault. It's just like, I don't know, you just gotta be careful of your pins because as I'm pushing, I'm making sure that I'm not breaking my power supply. <laughs> Basically make sure that the board doesn't get fried or bent or break or whatever. But all in all, this right here, was probably the hardest thing, probably the hardest part. Now I'm not usually a fan of, you know, moving this while the machine's on, but we'll do it real quick. You do have to disassemble your DMD. I mean, you are, you are taking everything out, essentially, and also it's a great opportunity that you can actually clean the inside of the plexiglass here. Uh, but again, you remove the actual DMD, you're still keeping though, this board here, this actual Data East board, that still stays, so you can't get rid of that. You're basically just taking out the DMD. Um, again, I'll show you some B-roll. You could kind of see that there's four buttons right here at the edge. Uh, those buttons are rarely used. Uh, I did use it though to bump up the brightness on this DMD. I have it right now set to 50% brightness. When they sent it to me, it was at like 25. And uh, I did have the garage open, I saw sunlight. I mean, sunlight was coming in, so I just wanted to bump up the brightness. Honestly, at 50%, and you could get much brighter. It's uh, crazy bright. Now, I'm going to take you guys closer to the DMD panel so you can see it. Again, the biggest thing, like Josh from Pinball and Island said to me, he said, Vic, make sure that it is an actual LED panel. Avoid LCD. Again, if you do have a color DMD with an LCD panel, I mean, it's great. You still have colorized stuff. It is still expensive, though. Again, pin two DMD at $220. It is a no brainer and the colors are just amazing. It looks great. And from my understanding, if let's say the, uh, you know, people that are making these colorized ROMs and it's actually pretty cool. It, his actual name, you can kind of see it here. It's happening here. It's like these developers are always working on the machine or I should say the code or the colors. So if you ever needed to upgrade the color ROM, you apparently just take out this SD card, bring it to your computer, replace the file, and that is it. So you do have all these like upgrade options. It's very cool that right now as I'm talking, it's showing you like credit scroll of the people that made this pin to DMD and all that. Very cool. Now the room is your all here. You want to actually see some gameplay. So without further ado, it is time. I'll move you closer. I'll turn the lights off and such. Look at that colorized DMD. Let's do some 2x bonsai if we get that mode. I missed the skill shot. Again, what a world of difference. Look at that Brett Hitman heart and all this pink glory. Hope it's safe. 
Yeah. Again, it, it's a must. Uh, you know, whether I went color DMD route, whether I went pin to DMD, I think no matter what, as long as you're able to enjoy colorized DMD, it is a no-brainer. Come on, hit that last. We got one more for the dead man, Yokozuna. Shawn Michaels. Look at that. Awesome. As you collect the characters, the music goes along with it. Again, I have the volume low, I know. But man, it is just, uh, it's, it's, it's a game changer. Again, I did have a flashing orange DMD. Let's get Lex Luger, if we could. Beautiful. We could do Doink, possibly. I would like to start a mode, that'd be awesome. Just to show you what it looks like if you start a mode. Vince McMahon. Look at that, oh, I drained the pole bearer. Ah, let's bring you in close, we'll do another ball. Well, you ain't close, now we also turn off the lights. Again, you could see those individual LEDs on that LED panel. Oh, save. Oh. Do one last one, lights off. Look at that. It's just amazing to see the retro original WWF logo. So what I might say it's not the original WWF, but you know what I'm saying. The old school original WWF logo. And it's like yellowish blue. It looks really great on that color DD. Got that 2X. Get back in the ring. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> But yes, just got in the mail, my Comet Pinball LED set. Oh man, that was also quite time consuming. Uh, looking at over 120 bulbs. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that pink on Red Hitman Heart. It's just, it's a thing of beauty. Awesome. Well guys, there you have it. The Pin 2 DMD conversion on my Data East Royal Rumble. It is one of three. It's one of three modifications that I am doing. So the color DMD was one, doing the LED kit is number two, and number three is doing a full rubber set. As I do this LED and rubber set though, I'm gonna take advantage because essentially, you have to disassemble the play field to get to a couple of uh, lights and rubbers, I will be deep cleaning and waxing the play field. I can't wait for it to be done. Should be a couple more, maybe one or two or three weeks. Uh, but yeah, Vic VP Game Case Arcades. Oh yeah, oh yeah, love it.